I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how to apply the knowledge of wave function to solve our question. Question here is find the maximum value of 3 cosine theta minus 4 sine theta and the smallest possible value positive value of theta where it occurs. Right? So to find maximum value or the minimum value in this case uh, maximum value what we will do is we will write the function 3 cos theta minus 4 sin theta in terms of r times cos of theta minus alpha right so once we get this combination of cosine and sine in terms of a cosine function then we can find the maximum maximum will occur when theta minus alpha is 0 right cos of 0 gives you the maximum, the first maximum, right. Now to find this, what we can do is, we can expand our cos theta minus alpha. So we could also use our learnings from wave function to do it. We know from there that r should be equals to square root of 3 square plus 4 square, which is 5 for us, and alpha is tan inverse of minus b by a that means 4 over 3 right so but what we will do here is will not uh, really take up those formulas I'll provide you with a link which helps us but we'll once again derive it so we have r of cos theta minus alpha which I could expand and write using compound angle that gives us cos theta cos alpha plus sin theta I mean I wrote alpha first let me write sin theta now right now from here if we compare these two equations then what do we get let me expand it further we get r let me write cos alpha first cos theta plus r sin alpha sin theta now we have to make left side equals to right side and that is possible if 3 is equals to r cos alpha right because cos theta is already there so we get 3 equals to r cos alpha and comparing the other part we get minus 4 equals to r sin alpha perfect now if I divide one equation by the other that is to say if I do minus 4 over 3 minus 4 is r sin alpha divided by r cos alpha what I get is tan alpha right so from here we can find what alpha is so we say alpha equals to tan inverse of minus 4 over 3 so we get our angle alpha right now on the other hand we'll use the calculator later to find this angle on the other hand what we can do is we can add and subtract these two terms. So we, these are the two equations which we are working with now. So let us add and subtract the squares. So let me write down the squares. We get 3 square plus minus 4 square equals to r square cos square alpha plus r square sine square alpha, right? Now here we can take r square common, so we get cos square alpha plus sine square alpha, which is 1. So we get here 3 square is 9, 9 plus 16, which is equals to 25, right? So 25 is equals to r square. So that gives us the value of r. So r equals to square root of 25. We are only taking positive values, which is equals to 5. So we get the value of r also. So, so that is how we get our value of r. And so we can write our expression in terms of r and alpha, right? So we could write this as 3 cos theta minus 4 sin theta is equals to r is 5. And cos of, let me put it in brackets, cos of theta minus alpha. Let me get this value from the calculator. We use the calculator to find the value of tan inverse 4 over 3. 
Now as you know, first we should find the acute angle and then we can take away the acute angle from pi to get the negative value, right? So we'll do tan inverse of 4 over 3, right? So 4 divided by 3 equals 2. So we get acute angle of 0 0.9272. So what we did was, so we did, let us say, acute angle, uh, let me call that angle as beta, equals to tan inverse of 4 over 3. And we got this equal to 0 0.9272. Uh, 0 0.9272. Now, as you know, tan is negative in the quadrants 2 and 4, right? So these are the two quadrants. And we found the acute angle to be 0 0.9272. So angle alpha should be how much? So from here, we get alpha is equals to pi minus 0 0.9272, right? Which is equal to, so let me take away this answer from pi. Take away the answer and equals to 2.214. So that is the angle alpha for us, right? So we can write here that 3 cos theta minus 4 sin theta is equals to r times cos theta minus 2.214. You get the idea, right? So, so that is how we can get the equation. And now the question is, find the maximum value. So the maximum value is how much? Maximum value of a cosine function can be 1 and therefore 5 times 1 will give me maximum value. So the maximum value is equals to 5 and the smallest possible positive value of theta. Positive value of theta smallest possible is when theta minus 2.214 equals to 0. That means at theta equals to 2.214 radians. Do you see that? So that becomes your smallest possible value. Correct? So that is how these types of questions can be solved. I hope you understand and appreciate it. Thank you and all the best.